In this video, I am going to explain how to write Verilog code for 122 DMUX using case statement. So my inputs are select input and input i and my output is of reg type because I have used the always block. So it is of 2 bit that is out of 0 and out of 1, two different terminals you can take. And now if my select input, I am checking for the cases whether the select input is 0 or 1. So if my select input is 0 then I am giving the input to out of 0 and the out of 1 should be equal to 0 and if my select input is 1 here this case will be executed and my out of 1 should get the input and out of 0 should be equal to 0 and default case you should write because your motive is to design a combinational circuit but you omit this default case then uh, the latches will be inferred unnecessarily which will result in the design of a sequential circuit which is not your intention. That's why you should write the proper and complete case statement that is using default also. Now as you are using case here you should terminate that case using end case keyword and module with end module. So this is how you can uh, write a very low code using case statement. So let's see the test bench. The test bench would remain same that is you are going to check all the possible combinations that is select input can be 0 or 1. So initially it is 0 and I am incrementing that with 1. So the carry will be omitted since it is a single bit. So the select input would be 0 1 0 1 0 1 like that and after 10 time units it's going to terminate. Now the RTL schematic will be see it is very simple uh, you are writing two end gates and giving to the two terminals that is out of 0 and out of 1. So here you got two end gates you can see here. Coming to the technology schematic uh, the two lookup tables will be used where uh, the data will be stored or the truth table values will be stored in the SRAMs that are present in the lookup tables. Anyway, this is uh, as we are targeting into FPGA board, uh, the technology schematic would consist of lookup tables and input output offers and in some cases some multiplexes also will be there to reduce the size of address and all. So hope you guys learned something new. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.